Picture this. A little girl in Syria is in the kitchen helping her mother with dinner. And as she's cutting the vegetables for a very small bowl of salad, she ponders. She ponders about things she knows are almost impossible to even try to achieve. But there's something inside of her telling her to never give up, to never hesitate towards something that will change things for the better, to always dream big. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Emina Babaki, and I am a born Canadian, an Arab Canadian. I am 17 years old, and I am very lucky to be living in Canada. I have a house made of bricks. I have clean running water the moment I turn on a tap. I have a car with a full tank of gas parked in my driveway. I have two loving parents who are willing to protect me and care for me no matter what. All in all, I am happy. I remind myself of all the things that I take for granted to keep me grounded, to make sure that I don't stray away from my vision of the future. Talent is God-given. Be humble. Fame is man-given. Be grateful. Conceit is self-given. Be careful. This was said by a famous basketball coach and player, John Wooden. I feel that this is a a very important quote because he wrote it in a chain, talent leading to fame, and if which the person is not careful will lead to conceit. Now once you can understand this quote, you can apply it to just about anything in life, especially when you're trying to make a change. Change is something that can be morphed and molded into anything to fit anyone's beliefs. It, is not, it does not have a set definition. The definition of change is not just a few words strung together. It is much more than that. It is an action, a thought, an image that each person has. An event that impacted me was the Arab Spring. What about the Arab Spring, you might ask? The fact that the entire Egyptian revolution began with a 29-year-old man. This man had a goal in mind, a goal that would truly change the way Egypt lives forever. And the result? The result was phenomenal. The, the, the neighboring countries around Egypt were inspired, and they began to revolutionize against their own governments. The Arab Spring is a very personal event to me, and it affects me greatly. I feel that the stereotypes of Arabs being lazy or lacking the work ethic were no longer looked upon. The Arab Spring brought light upon Arabs as a culture, and it helped you guys to view us in another lens. So what is stopping us as youth to, to express our opinions, and push forward for change. The teenage years are supposed to be filled with new experiences and new ideas being explored. But if no one steps out of their comfort zone, what would happen to our, the future of our world? We wouldn't progress. We would be considered the wimp generation. But we are not wimps. We are heroes. Heroes willing to fight for what's right. And there are many heroes among us. Every day we see them, but they go unnoticed. Now, if that example was not enough of a connection for you, then here's another. 16-year-old Shaliza Qasim in Calgary decided that on her 13th birthday, she would feed families in need rather than receive gifts herself. Her small gesture bloomed into a non-for-profit organization in which Shaliza now runs to throw birthday parties for children who are live in shelters who otherwise would not be able to celebrate their special day. We should use her as an example, an inspiration, because I feel that she is the most realistic example we have of change. I really hope that she has impacted you just as much as she has impacted me. I hope she triggered a spark inside of all of you to make, to make you think of all the things that you could change in your community or even just you as a person. 
I think that there is no size to change. There is no form of change that is too small or too big. You can definitely do it. I was brought up to care and feel with those who are less fortunate. I was brought up to believe that making a change, even if it's on a smaller scale, can truly impact others in the world. Around the age of 11, I wanted to solve the world hunger crisis. Now, at this age, I was expected to be thinking about what shoes went with my eyes or why boys have cooties, but I was different. I wanted to go to every developing country in the world and feed everyone a great big feast so there would no longer be such a thing as starvation. Now, when I, went to when I told my parents about what I thought was a Nobel Peace Prize worthy idea, they applauded me as parents should. However, when I went to school the next day, I was brought back to the sad reality by my grade six teacher who told me it was impossible to just simply feed everyone in the world. Now that experience, it taught me a lot about how change is not the easy, easiest task to acquire. Thinking back on it now, I think about the steps that are required to make a successful change in this world. And I've come up with a two-step plan. The first step, believe. You have to truly be passionate about what you are wanting to change. Once you believe in it wholeheartedly, everyone will believe it with you. Passion is what makes you stand out from everyone else. But that's what only gets you halfway there. The other half is obviously support. You must have a group of people that can support you financially, mentally, and spiritually. You have to be able to rely on them and make sure that they can push you forward even in your lowest times. You have to depend on them. We have so much more than that little girl in Syria who wanted to make a change but was physically incapable. I believe that change is not just an act, it's a journey. A journey that people should be willing and able to, to partake in. And I know that anyone in this room can do anything they set their mind to. The fact that you live in Canada alone puts you in a position where you must at least try to make a change. We are blessed to be living in a country where resources are at our fingertips. The only requirement of you is to look for them. Look for them and use them. It's up to us to make that difference in the world. Now I'd like to leave you all with a quote that was written anonymously and further hope to persuade you to make that change you've always wanted to make. Keep calm and carry on? No thanks. I'd rather raise hell and change the world. Thank you.